Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Tasty Trades Web Platform Release Notes. Today we're going to be talking about how you can trade on charts now on our web platform. Additionally in this update we added in the ability to see news and recent events on your charts. And we added in some extra expiration filters to our trade table. And to wrap things up we have some new platform color customization as well. To start us off we're going to talk about how you can trade on the charts on the web platform now. First, you're going to want to navigate to our Trade tab on the left side navigation bar. Once you're there, make sure that you have Asset Type Shares selected at the top. And then to get trading on the chart set up in your settings, at the top of the chart, you'll find a gear icon over here. And underneath that, you can go to Trading. And then you'll just want to select Trading from Chart, and that'll make it all set up on your chart. If you're looking to place quick trades or just fast market orders to buy or short or sell your shares, you'll go to the top left of the screen here and you can click on buy or sell. And that'll set up a market order in our ticket below. So if we click on buy, that's a buy order. Or we can click on sell and in this case, short a share instead. And now if you're looking to place limit orders and do it based on certain price levels, you can also navigate to the right side, click a plus arrow, and then you can set up a buy limit, buy stop, sell limit, sell stop. And once you click on one of these selections, it's gonna update your order ticket based on the price level that you are at. You can always go back down to your order ticket below and adjust the price as you see fit. What's really nice is that once you send off an order and it's working on your chart, so we added in our drag and drop feature to our chart on the web platform as well. So you'll be able to left click to select your working order, and then you can left click, hold and drag to a new price. As you can see on the Y axis, it's updating to a new price. And once you're ready to change the order price, you just simply let go of your mouse and that will exit your past order and place a new order at your new desired price. If at any time you're looking to cancel your order as well, you can quickly just click on the X icon on your working order here, and that will get you out of your working order. Another nice addition that we added to our charts is the ability to see recent news and events on a particular symbol directly on your chart. So you'll notice on our chart here for RTX, you can see blue dots above certain candles. If you are to scroll your mouse over any of these dots, you'll see a drop down on the different news and events. And what's nice is that if you wanna find out more information on the news and events related to that, you can click on it and it's gonna pull up that news story that you can scroll through, read all about, and then exit out of with the X in the top right whenever you're done. To get this feature added to your charts, if you're not seeing the blue dots right now, all you gotta do is navigate to the chart settings at the top gear icon, scroll down to events and make sure that you have events on chart selected at the top and that will add those onto your chart for you. Next, we have a nice quality of life update to our expiration filters on our trade table. So if you're looking to filter specific expirations when looking for a trade opportunity, you can go to the top right funnel and change to either regular expirations only. So that'll be the third Friday of each month you can go to weekly expirations, which are daily listed options, especially if you're looking to trade zero DTE. We also have end of the month expirations and quarterly expirations as well. So if you're looking for particular opportunities or like to trade particular expiration styles, this is a great filter as you're going through different expirations. Next, we have some nice accessibility features for our colorblind users. You can now change the platform colors by going into our platform settings in the top right. And then you can go to general in the settings and change the colorblind mode. So depending on the type of colorblindness that you have, you can change around the platform colors and hopefully that'll make it quite a bit easier to distinguish the different values and or coloring. And on top of that as well, we added in the ability to change your account colors. So if you have multiple accounts and you wanted to customize the color of each of your accounts and or make some accounts the same color, you can go into the platform settings. Instead this time of general, you're gonna go to accounts on the left side 
and then next to each one of your accounts you'll have a little drop down next to the color where you can click on that drop down and then you'll be able to select one of those different colors. There's a small selection for right now, but we are looking to add in more colors and customization in the short term future. That's been all for this episode of Tasty Trades web platform release notes. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns or any feedback on things you'd love to have, and we'll get back to you. Have a good one.